be installing seat covers from custominteriors.com on a C6 Corvette. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install seat covers from custominteriors.com on this C6 Corvette. Now we have a, we've already put the seat cover on the driver's side so I'm going to be showing you how to put it on on the passenger side. They go on exactly the same but we're going to cover a couple of reasons why you would want to get the, uh, the seat covers in the first place. Um, the C6 uh, and the C5 for that matter, they were both very prone to uh, having problems with the bolster. On the passenger side, the, the, it's another typical problem that they have is that the zippers that hold the original seat cover on, they go bad. So this one happens to have one of the two zippers that's bad, so you'll be able to see that. And then I also noticed that there's one extra cool thing about this. You know, we're very limited on our storage space on what we have in these Corvettes, and it's kind of nice to be able to have just that little extra. Well, what they've done is they've gone ahead and they've put in, let me put, bring it up to the camera here, but they've put in a map pocket on the back of them. So it's kind of nice. So here's the seat itself. This is going to be the passenger one that you're seeing. They are identical. They are cut exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. Um, I did it so the zipper will be inside right here toward the uh, center console so you don't really see it. But you could, if you don't want to go through the pain of kind of fight that zipper, you can also put the zipper to the outside. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so it's, it's up to you. The bottoms are identical and there's, uh, these seats do not need to be removed to be able to put these on. So this is very cool about that. I'm going to show you a little trick. Everybody's got a coat hanger in their house. So I'm going to show you exactly how to go ahead and be able to pull the bottom two hooks from the front of the bottom seat cover to the back. So that way you don't have to pull the seat out. Okay, so go ahead and sit back, relax. We're going to show you how it's done. And when you're ready, you'll know exactly where to get set. Okay. All right guys, like I said earlier, we went ahead and we've already installed the driver's side. So I just want to explain what we're going to be able to do because this is hard to be able to get on camera. So I'm going to be setting the, the bottom seat cover on the seat. And then literally all I'm doing is from the back side and you'll see me do this. I'm going to take just a regular, like a, it's a, an old coat hanger that I made. It has a hook on it, okay? And I'm just literally going to fish this underneath the seat and then I'm gonna grab these two hooks that are here under the seat. I'm just gonna grab it from underneath like this and I'm gonna pull that all the way back to the back of the seat. Right near the very back of the seat, you're gonna be able to feel a rod that goes the whole distance wide on the seat. You're just gonna be hooking this right onto it. Okay, so you'll pull it back, you'll grab this with your hand and then you'll hook it onto the hook and that's gonna be it. As far as the other things that we have, we're going to have these two or these three straps that I've shown you before in other videos. These just kind of turn. They go through the slot of the seat. They pull and they turn like that, and that's what locks them in place. Okay. And then the final piece is the part that handles these two flaps, and this just snaps together on the back side. The back part of the seat has a flap that goes all the way across the top, which hides this. So uh, it's, you know, it looks very, very uh, complete when it's done. It doesn't look uh, all hokey. So uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on here. Uh, Jennifer's gonna try to get the best, best angle she can here. It's really hard to see, but uh, we'll see if we can get it on there. So literally all we're doing, we're just tucking this in, just like that, and getting this up and forward. This little strap here is going to go around like this around the seat belt. That gets tucked down and we'll be able to pull that through here in just a minute. We want to try to get get our uh, our seat cover as far pull forward as we can so you can see how that looks. Okay and then this is going to go around the seat belt like that. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to move the seat forward a little bit 
so I can get to the back. Okay, I'm gonna move the seat. This, we'll have to scoot it back just a hair. So we can get the seat down. There we go, we'll move it forward like that. So I'm just gonna put my coat hanger here through with the hook on the end of it. I'm gonna hook it onto one of those hooks on the seat cover. I'm kinda doing this by feel. And then I'm gonna pull. Now if you release the pressure on this, it's gonna come loose. So you wanna make sure you get it all the way pulled forward. And maybe Jennifer can see that with the hook right there. So just grab that, grab your cable, and then you'll be able to find that little rod like I was talking about, which is right, right there. Now that side's hooked. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Let's see if we can straighten this out just a little bit. Okay, fish that forward to the front. Then we're gonna hook our hook onto it. And we're gonna pull it back. Okay, just like that. Release it. We'll hook it on there like so. Now, that part was the hardest part, guys. The rest of this, here's your two little hooks that we were showing you here in a minute, or in a second ago. It's gonna snap those together. Just like that, and the bottom of the seat's ready to go. So now all we gotta do is go ahead and put the seat cover, um, the top seat cover back on. Now in the beginning I was showing you, earlier I was telling you about some of the common flaws that happen with this, the uh, C5 and the C6 seat covers. Um, you can see right here, this is exactly what happens. The stitch, the zipper dies. These bolsters here on the side, they wear out. So this is a prime example of why you would wanna be able to um, have um, a set of these seat covers. One of the other things here too is probably most of you know that the side plastic on these seats, uh, right near the controls, they tend to they tend to crack, right? and they get brittle, and then they're no good anymore. And so what they've done is they've made the the seat cover come down over the side right here. It covers the buttons, but it makes the seat look nice and complete and not all broken up like how it normally does on the C5 and C6 after years of age. So anyway, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we'll take our seat cover. It has a zipper on it, it has a couple hooks, very simple. And then this also goes down, we'll tuck these in into the, the uh, slot here in between the bottom and the top seat once we're done. So literally we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide this little guy on like that it already has the cutout for the seat release right here okay we'll get that pulled down a little bit more and it'll be easier to see see that okay. now I'm doing this on a nice warm day so you can see how the the seats are nice there's no wrinkles in it um, if you're doing this in a in cold weather then you may when you get the get the box open you may see some wrinkles not a big deal once you get put in the seats, get done putting the seats in, you can either take a heat, a heat gun, I wouldn't get them too close, but a hair dryer, something like that, or just simply drive the car out and let it sit in the sun for a little while and those little wrinkles will go away. So not a big deal, okay? Um, but anyway, um, now that we've got this down on here, we're just gonna simply move the seat forward so we can get ourselves some more room here to work, okay? find all my buttons move the seat forward move this like this it's like that now like I was telling you guys there's just two hooks right here it doesn't really matter what these hook onto there's a couple different spots underneath there there's the webbing of the bottom of the seat there's some there's some other rods that the other the front parts of the seats hooked onto, and that's what I'm hooking onto. Okay, so that's literally all there is. See how that covers that and makes that complete. You also get some map pockets in the very back too, which you didn't have before. All right, so once we've got our hooks done here, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna 
zip up our zipper. Just like that. Just like so. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we'll scoot the seat back. Okay, so the last thing that we have to do, guys, is there are two, our three little hooks right here that we're gonna tuck into the seat. And that's really all there is to it. So we're gonna tuck those down. If you're having a problem tucking them in, you can pull the seat forward a little bit and fold the seat. And they shouldn't really be a pain in the butt. They should just go right in. It's a very nifty little, uh, little latch that they created for this. Works great. Tuck these in too. There we go. Like I said, every once in a while, that'll give you a little bit of a little bit of problem. Nothing major. Let me get this one tucked in. And that's all there is to it. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And if you did, you'll know exactly where to go. I'm gonna put their information right here on the screen. Go to custominteriors.com or go to extremeonlinestore.com and they will be able to help you also. So um, they not only carry the covers for C6, you've seen me do a bunch of different videos, so they carry them for a lot of different cars as well as the Corvettes. So uh, be sure and check out their website and uh, they also sell a lot of other ex accessories that um, you've seen me put on the car over the co course of time on all the different ones. So be sure and let them know that Scott from the Corvette channel sent you and that way they'll be able to make sure that you get taken care of. So guys, thank you again for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps our algorithms, it helps us with YouTube, it helps us with Google. Um, so it just, it just helps all the way around. I know if you don't have a Gmail account, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'd sure appreciate it if you would do it. So if you wouldn't mind signing up, um, I would really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later, but thank you for watching. You guys having a good night.